Oh, dude, Aphelios, I told I told everyone, I've, I've been calling this. Aphelios is actually broken now. Really? Yeah. I played him in solo queue, and I realized this champ is fucking broken. Yo, okay. He does 20,000 DPS, and if you just pick Thresh with him, it takes away a lot of his weaknesses. And also, um, I didn't even realize that they reworked his passive, so it gives a ridiculous amount of stats. Yeah, like I, 20, I was going to ask It's like 27 that. lethality, 30 AD. It's like 580 per level instead of 4. Flat lethality instead of percentage pen. And flat lethality is just completely better for most of the game. Well, it, it, it was on flat lethality for a while, wasn't it? But they like increased the values. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Hear me out. Is there any world where you max the lethality thing first and build like a fucking Durkin lane? And you just uh, one-tap everyone? I, I I don't think so because the flat AD is kind of what makes Aphelios so OP in lane. Like I, I think you could probably do it, but like I think what makes Aphelios really broken in lane is like it, you can't miss CS because he has like 20 more AD than you mm -hmm. all the time, and like uh, the way his like ability scale off of flat AD is pretty crazy, especially red white. Like, that one is especially broken with a bunch of AD because it's got, like, more scaling based on how many little shurikens you have. Yeah. Um, and so what people are doing right now is they max the flat AD first, and then they go lethality second, and they build collector. So they end oh. up with, like, two items. They end up with, like, 50 lethality, oh, which shit. is pretty crazy. They're doing true damage to everybody, basically. And then uh, that does it doesn't even nutty. change your build because you're just going IE third anyways. So... So what do you go so Gale fun. or Kraken? What I think you, you can do all, like? all, all of them. Any of them? Okay. Yeah, like I, I went Shield Bow against Dive. I went Gale Force against like Dodgeable CC. I went Kraken against a bunch of Bruisers. Mm -hmm. I think this is probably this a Kraken like, game. You think this is looking like a Gale game to me? Oh, maybe with maybe, the Leona. I mean, it's all it's all good. It's probably all good. I think I think the more melee that they have. The more like people get horny for Kraken. Mm. Yeah, not quite seven. See, but... I I know you hate Aphelios, but I'm pretty sure he's broken. Uh, no, he's complete in, in competitive. He's completely broken because in competitive, your teammates are actually going to play like you have an Aphelios on your team. You guys stream no uh, sound. Yeah, yeah, it's muted. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask him about that. Same. Okay, I, I will say I haven't tried the current. And buffed Aphelios because it, I got it's insane. absolutely baited by the last one. It was like some turd buffs to his uh, red and shit, and I was just like, "All right, let me try it." Just didn't do anything. I'm like, "All right, fuck the shit." <laughs> so, not sure yeah. about the current version. Should Should we watch the mainstream? By the way, because there's no sound on the yeah, on the probably for now. Watch party one. Yeah, so let's do I mean, the there's... mainstream with low volume. So, right. so the reason why right. I think Aphelios is broken is, is two things. His laning phase is even better than it was before, because he's getting 580 per level instead of 4. Which doesn't sound like much, but the thing, the way his uh, level up works is like, you can you can keep, so like level 1 you can put a point in Q, and at level 2 you can put a point in Q, and at level 4 you can put a point in Q. So, point in Q. so it's like, it's not like a normal champion where like, you have to spread out your points. It, you only have to like put like the occasional point in your other... Like, uh, stat boost, I guess, on level ups. So, you naturally, like, if you rush your two boots, you have as much AD as their AD carry, and you have Conqueror, and you're like, you're just so fucking OP in lane. You have infinite sustain with Red Gun, you have infinite kill pressure, and I think he synergizes really well with Thresh, because Thresh just pairs really well with, like, non-escape AD carries that shit on lane. And then, outside of lane, I think, after all the buffs, he just seems to do crazy damage. I've, I've just been, like, one-tapping kids with Flamethrower. I think, I think Flamethrower is, like, pretty crazy still. This is definitely another one of those games where I feel like every time someday and closer on the same screen, they're, they're, just, they're not getting anything done. This doesn't look particularly good for... T I guess they have a Philios with the first have, move. Yeah, they have a double oh, wait. first move from bot lane. I like what Closer's doing where he's just hiding there for a sec. 100 Thieves have a really good ward. Look at that ward spawning tactical. This is actually letting 100 Thieves contest this, even though... 
Armeo might die. He, he you know, Lantern, he's, 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 oh, 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 yeah, he's he just need to get that one reset oh. on Closer. It's over now. Yeah, it's over now. Looks... Closer is fucking playing Lee Sin now. <laughs> oh, no. That core is Diego. dead. Wait. Why does his ult reset? Because, fuck you, that's why. Patrols is here to die, Wait. no? What? Oh. Oh. oh, my God. Holy shit, no way. He's, he's gonna die. He's gonna die, no? Wait. I mean, unless Aphelios is really OP. Oh, oh five God. for zero? Five for zero. Fight wow. HP. Oh, Dude, that's actually God. devastating. Oh, Jesus. Honestly, Tactical... Wait, that was a full-on 4v5. Granted, Tactical yeah. wasn't really there until he entered. No, he, he ran into that 1v3. That was a complete... Oh, man. I should not have I should not have said that Tactical was really good before this game started. I fucking cursed him. I fucking cursed him. Yeah, you did. No, nah, dude, this... I actually think that one ward that spotted Tactical's rotation, like, really fucking won this for 100 Thieves. Did it fade or something? Because yeah. TL was, like, bluffing, you know, like, normally you would want to respect the fact that the AD carry can show up there, but they knew exactly where he was, so they knew they had time to do this before he got there. Did the word I mean, fade or what? Huh? No, the, 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 it's a ward spotting. Hundred Thieves is a ward that's showing Aphelios, where? who's just hovering, but he's not committing. Yeah, it, it was like, like in that bush behind the red buff. Regardless, I think that you, that, you, that you don't do it on this timing. Even if Aphelios is in mid lane, I think you have a timing to like make the fight. Oh my god, that's actually so tragic for Tactical. If he cleansed, doesn't he kill there? Late. Yeah, if he cleansed the root fast, yeah. he, might, he probably kills, but he dies anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it was a pretty awkward Herald start timing, unless Aphelios is actually coming, because they had a disadvantage top lane, like Jenkins was 1 HP, someday has the first move. I think when you're losing top, you just you just full swap for Herald. Like, I, I really don't like when the only the only condition for your team to get Herald is when the AD carry commits from bot. I think there's two options. You full swap. And that way, like, there's no, like, random plates or, or XP loss. Or you just get it with a hover with top and mid push in and, and just start it. But, like, why would you ever start Herald when mid and top are both not even there? Like, LeBlanc and GP were literally just sitting in their lane. And then it's so greedy that Armeo thought he could, like, solo it with just a hover. So, yeah, I... I really don't like that macro. And I think it's a mistake people make when they're like, we're winning bot, like, can we just get Herald off of it? But it's not that easy when top and mid are losing. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. At that point, like, what you would say is, like, we're winning bot really hard. Can we swap for Herald? That's, like, the more efficient call. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I, I, this game kind of looks over at this point for me. Like, yeah, it, it, it yeah. just looks like 100 Thieves is going oh. to run him over. Well, I was hoping for TL to challenge 100 Thieves does not seem like we're getting that this game. I think they just lost off macro decision, like starting the Herald. I, I would, I think people should treat Aphelios like Caitlyn and just think of like, you have to win lane because that's the only reason why you pick him. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is you got to move him around. Like he's just like a, like a siege minion. Cause like, he's not very good at like running cross map. It'd be the same thing as like playing, I don't know, Ferris and just running from bot to Herald. Just feels shitty. Yep. Yeah. I actually am so surprised that no one plays Vlad. Like, I think Vlad is so broken when cooldown oh. rotation. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> I think somebody just killed. He's gonna one v two them. He's gonna one v two them. Oh. Wait, oh. No, he's not. Almost. Yo, that Gale, Gale to dodge the Q is the kind of nice. Was yeah, that was actually the, the decider. Is, is starting Baron. If if they get disrupted here, this could be a throw. Oh, it's, it's over. Get off, get off, get Wait, off. Why, why are they on? Dude, they have fucking Karma yeah, Varus. Where is yeah, your no, DPS? No damage for Baron, actually. They have to have okay, And, and Aphelios getting the big shutdown is actually really good for TL. Yeah, yeah. That's good. They're actually they're actually not in a good position mid here. Oh, okay. TL doesn't care about mid. They had an opportunity on mid. Whoa! Whoa, FBI. TL? Yo, Jensen says, I'm keeping my win rate, bitches. Get on my back. TL? 100 Thieves? 100 Thieves. Someday 100 with thieves the was... gold? Is it a grief? Never give someday gold? Never give someday gold. 
is someday a, a homie? Yes, yeah, someday is. Someday might be a homie. Someday's for sure a homie, man. <laughs> I feel like I'm just, I'm like playing a broken record when I talk about someday because it's it's bad. Someday wants to play to try to dominate here. his opponent. Ooh, that Gale was the fucking was, the sexy. Gale was clean. The Gale was clean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that he could, he could have really done there someday was just to not all in at that moment, because he doesn't have a cheap backup. He's just chilling, yeah. and he's Hello. fighting he's for just, no reason. It's, it's, it's not about playing that 1v2 better. It's about not even being there in that position to begin with. His team is completely smashing the game. He needs to be able to... He needs to know when to, like, take a risk. That's not the time. Yeah. And he like either him, needs him vision dying there or... might actually just completely lose his team the game. If, yeah, if they, it's if possible. If they just can't keep snowballing. I, I like what TL is looking for in the side lanes. Every yeah. Time I'm, I'm watching them. They're always making a sneaky play in the side. <gasps> I do think part of this comes down to 100 Thieves just like really, really low Baron damage and GP ult being good at stopping it. So it's it's super yeah. hard for 100 Thieves to pressure Baron. <laughs> yeah. They've got Soul coming up in a minute. They, they, they need... Someday to be there if they want to do Baron. I think he yep. does like the most yeah. DPS. Gwen destroys Baron for sure. But I think for 100 Thieves, they're kind of banking their entire game at this point on the Soul. I don't think Soul is gonna like actually win them the game, but I think TL is gonna feel pressured. Like, oh, we shouldn't give it. And then they're gonna fight. 15. And in and that counter. case, if that's. No. Ooh. Holy moly. Trade flashes, flash Leona flash. for Thresh. I, I don't like that. I don't. I think Thresh's flash is much more important than. Or so Leona's is. Flash. Is Hexflash still disabled? Because he's not I, running it. I think he's opted not to do it, yeah. He may be running uh, the free stopwatch, is my guess. Especially if he's rushing Zonia like that. He, he was, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Hexflash what I do like so good on about 100 Thieves setup here is the enemy team is basically going to be forced to play to Baron, but they have good wards around Baron. They're going to at least be able to spot the enemy team rotating. So, so TL's like doing the fake. They're like, we're gonna like fake Baron. I don't think they're gonna. Are they actually I starting? Think they're gonna start it. They're gonna start it. Yolo the against game. Against this, this is really troll. I don't like against this. Against Pokeberries. Okay. I'm out. What I'm, is Lee Sin doing? I'm thinking Why? Dude, Dude, how did you just go do Baron? Go do Drag. Go do Drag. Just go do Dude, Drag. Dude, Armeo is. What is he oh, he's doing? He's, he's tilted. Taking, he's no, no. He's taking some free damage. It's all good. It doesn't he, change anything. He smited for some HP. Yeah, I mean, he's like tanking it long after his team peeled off. Yeah, then walks I, I up and know. smites it for HP like what? I, I thought Hunter the I thought TL was gonna go for the bait where they like they pretend to start Baron but they're actually looking for a catch. Because that's when Hunter Thieves might make a mistake. But yeah, they're just giving uncontested soul now. Ooh. That was a mistake. Yeah, they get some gold on Jensen. Like six hundred for that tier two is actually not that bad anymore. Like I that mean, trade gets better. Yeah, and the, the soul they gave was cloud, like I don't think like if they're gonna lose, yeah. they're probably gonna lose anyway. Yeah. Doesn't matter if they have cloud or not. I think the 10% move speed and the the speed up is actually really good on 100 Thieves, but but oh yeah, it's, it, great. it's not it's not like that Perfect. fucking crazy OP where you, you need to lose the game over this. Oh yeah, so you you mentioned it a second ago, Medios. That that's actually such a massive change. The the gold turrets on the turrets in the yeah. side lane. Oh yeah, dude, the tier twos are crazy now. That was the first tier two that gives bonus gold that died this game. Like. If you can actually utilize breaking those turrets, you can actually snowball so much harder. Yep, 600 gold local for LeBlanc right there. That's a shit ton. Yeah, that's two kills. That's good. I didn't even think about the new change because I'm still kind of thinking about the old patch. But no, the new patch, stride has changed. Yeah, uh, this tier two has changed. This patch was oh. actually like pretty big as far as gameplay changes goes. But yeah. damn, dude, Aphelios on three. I actually am starting to like TL's chances in this game, even though they lost Soul. Yeah, they're and fine right now. seems tilted out of his mind. I think yeah. they can win. I, I, I think the game, the game is really going to be about whether or not Hunter Thieves can kill Aphelios. But I mean, Tashel, yeah. Tashel's not known for playing well on non-escape AD carries. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> Ta Tashel's oh, cool. pretty consistently running it down. Oh, that hook. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh. Oh! Hold up! Oh, let's go, hold up. Is that a bounty? Ooh, Abadage flashed. Wait, is he caught? Yeah, he kinda had to. Nah, this nah. is a strange fight. Like, are they he's, gonna keep He's going? fucking zooming. 
Flint is just. He's I, I, I really think Hundred Thieves. Like, it, it's unnatural, but I almost want to see Karma go bottom and then they just play around Gwen top. Yeah, because the Baron like, Dragon. I, th I think their team right. should be playing two Gwen's I think Gwen's it's tied. absolutely fine to play around the fact that Gwen will have first move over GP, but they are just not. They are just not doing that. Yeah, oh. I, I just think, like, playing two Gwen split Holy rather shit, than so having fast. Gwen try to team fight looks better to me. Yeah, I, I, I see what you mean, because Gwen is winning no matter what lane she's in, but when you're winning this hard, I, I do think it's it's also really good to just push and move. Um, because the game is unplayable for the enemy team if it's constantly 5v4. Yeah, like they get pressure Baron with Gwen, that's true. Yeah, exactly, like I would like to see Gwen push up and team start Baron and then Gwen be like the, the extra man for the team. Or not even, you don't even need to start Baron, you can just look, look in the enemy jungle for picks or fights, which yeah, is what happened. Shit. I think this, yeah, the fight started with Kor dying instantly, and, and yet somehow both top laners did it at the same time. Just but Monk is really, wrong. really strong right now. Yeah, Monk is huge. She can probably one-shot oh, mostly anybody. anyone. Yeah. I want to see him just chunk out Leona, just like do his QRE to Leona, just get him out of the fight by themselves yeah, some time. That would be big. Yeah, Felix is also huge at this point, scaled up. Mm -hmm. LeBlanc 16 with that much haste, like, her ult has such a low cooldown. It's like, less than 20 seconds. Uh oh. He just has to be careful getting caught. Ooh, Kor is caught. Yeah, oh, wait, no. wait, 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 oh, or wait. Maybe they're getting Ooh, caught. Closer's just dead. Closer's gonna die in Oh shit. Uh oh. Is our Mao dead? I think finally, someday is yeah. actually part of the fight, so it's not it's not really winnable for TL when he's there. Oh my god, tacticals. Oh! Saved. Wow. Saved by Lantern? Oh! The hook! hook. Jensen? Oh, they really don't have a punish! Oh! Oh, oh, holy oh. fuck, Jensen! Okay, but someday somehow lives. Closes the one who gets fucked. Oh, there. dude, if Jensen got that someday kill, that would've been fucking insane. I know, it was like one HP off. My god. TL's think... thinking about doing Baron here. Does it, who I he... like I like the look. I like the look. They have TP on Jenkins too. The enemy team doesn't know yet. Okay, now they know. It's got it got blue trinket just now. Someday has TP I'm as well. TP. They have to get no, the fuck off. No, they can't off. do this. Oh, wait, he's TPing. Why? Is this good? They see it. They do Is now. anyone ever gonna die in this situation? Or they're, they're, what? They were scared. They're still I think checking. they don't know they got off. Yeah. Somebody surely needs to buy an MR item, right? He has no MR right now. He's on base value. Yeah. I know either, W gives her like a goes. fucked up amount. Oh, yeah. This oh, was pretty bad by Core, honestly. He walked over a pink. Jensen already saw they went on Baron. Yeah. Oh, FK's Q went sideways. Not that that really changed anything. Dude, I, I don't I know. I feel like 100 Thieves is always so disjointed. At that, that fight, Abadagi wasn't a part of it until the very end. He hasn't done a single shield, a single point of damage since the start, fight at the start. Like, yeah. Oh shit. Oh, man, like, so if they four. got someday there, that would have been so huge. Wow. The L just is so manly just here. Finishing it. Oh, yeah, I mean, this wow, is the Aphelios, bro. Died. No! Oh, Did he just closer ulted himself? in. Oh, okay. Oh shit. Cores, oh, okay. has flash. Wait, Jensen? Might be dead. Yeah, he's dead. I like the I like the ult on Jensen there. That was really sick. Oh, fuck, dude. Did they lose oh. off this? Oh, We're shit. Gonna get soul. They're gonna get soul. I think that's probably just game. I think they win the game here. And, and, and less tact, unless wait, Aphelios wait. just goes fucking crazy. It's Aphelios, which sicko could mode? happen. Is he going sicko mode right here? Oh, he doesn't have flash. Yeah. If he had flash, I think he could have gone sicko mode. Woo. Yeah, really, they, really. they get, they get Damn, elder. dude, that's so big that Jensen got hit by that. I think yeah. Jensen needs a stopwatch, bro. Yeah, but he's just, he just barely had these items. Oh, he totally could have bought one. He totally could have bought one. He has a blasting wand. I like FPS decision there when they're catching core to look for, like the rotator. Yeah, that, that was a really nice fair assault. Sniped his ass. That's they, huge. There was also that's the like, risk all of the grouped too. Like they had to get away to yeah. not all get very assaulted. Yeah, that was sick. That was that was like, that was a big one. Yeah. Ooh, death cap on Karma now. I, I like that. 
Hundred Thieves is playing like they have Elder and they're threatening the end. Yeah, they're playing yeah, very aggressive. I, I don't this like is... Jensen splitting here. I think he needs to be like poking. Yeah, I mean Unless those are straight lose the game. There. Like Le if he got void off that maybe, but I think I think mid mid inhib is useless. Hundred Thieves should just back up and go side. They're not gonna end here. It's not it's not happening. There's too much wave clear on the enemy team. You're not going to hit anything. Yeah, I think just, just they're playing for like the various alt on LeBlanc, I think. Like fishing yeah. for it. Okay, and they hold. For now. Yeah, it's a bit of a waste, wave, right? Because, because 100 Thieves wasted those 30 seconds. Uh, they, they're actually not going to have a wave for uh, the next in hit. It's only 40 seconds left. And yeah, the wave's like far away. stuck. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I the think the wave's so far. I think Hundred Thieves surely didn't think this one through. The enemy team had Baron, so they are gonna yeah. get a little window I here. Mean, they're just gonna, they're just gonna keep going with the with the mid inhib minion, super minion. I do like this more. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that too. Ooh, nice Aphelios GP all just to chunk yeah. them. Just That's to smart. just to clear the wave. That was yeah. Smart. Yeah, true. Yeah, that was smart. Oh, dude, oh. that that Viego E around the inhibitor looks cool. It's a fucking donut. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen that. American donuts. American I want donuts. Me want donut. <laughs> Anathema's chains. Interesting. How is that Ooh. gonna oh, do on Thresh of all champs? Because oh, it's Thresh not like Thresh it? is tanking anything. Mm, like you're not, you I don't like want to pick an enemy champ and take less damage from that guy. I think the, I I, know he's gonna the main use it idea on. of it is you lower someone's tenacity. So I th he's probably just gonna put it on Gwen. I think Gwen's yeah. gonna have like negative tenacity when she goes in, gets CC'd for ten years. Yeah. That's I, only I, that's I, only point three seconds on a hook. Uh, also, no you know, it, it's really close range. I don't know if you guys have tested it, but it's basically it's shittier than Frozen Heart range. Wait, really? Yeah, like oh, it's not like that target gets less tenacity. It's like they have to be basically on top of them to get less tenacity. Then it's not going to oh. do anything unless it's like a mid-range hook. And and also, I, I think it's... Yeah, I just can't imagine that's better than going another support item. Like, I know. honestly, like the item's so new and it's so unique. I think it's really hard to fully understand its use cases. I, I think it might have more value than I can even imagine on something like this game like maybe yeah, Gwen I, is the only person that will kill him yeah I, I do think it's a good item just, uh, it's definitely good I've just never seen it built on Thresh it's like a permanent exhaust against that player <laughs> oh yeah oh, oh. QSS down God. I the timing of it is very good for Hunter Thieves because the QSS will be down for <laughs> and there's the Banshee Ooh. stabbed by Viego oh shit oh I got well. stabbed by Viego Oh, Q. this is a good GPLT. <laughs> really good GPLT. That was a lot of damage. Oh, Arma actually counters GP so hard. Yeah, 100 Thieves Yo, is kind of... Run it down mid, TL. Run it yeah, down mid. Yeah, they're kind of fucked here, 100 Thieves. El run Elder's mid, up in 30. Mid. I think... Yeah, the Elder, Elder I, I positioning think is really bad for 100 Thieves. I think TL really gets something it. here. I think yeah. TL should just, should just gamble Baron. TL sees them reset. This is huge. If they, can if just they see this, they should gamble Baron. They should gamble, do it, gamble, do it, gamble, do it, gamble, do it. No gamble. balls, no balls, balls. You're losing. Just do Dude, it. Oh my God. The vision. Dude, they recalled. I can see it. Just toggle the vision. <laughs> no, but like, it, it, it's just about like making a prediction. You don't have to see them actually recall. You just have to predict that they were. Yeah. I think they should have taken that. They could hit it and see what happens. Yeah, but it's, it's I, a very low risk We are talking start. from full vision here. Yeah. No, I, I I totally understand that like they don't they don't know. It's just about the fact that they don't take damage from Baron anyway. So there's no downside to starting it. Yeah, it may have been the fact that like oh, they didn't oh, have GP oh, also oh, they didn't really oh, want to fight. Oh, oh. He, he got the lantern, he got the lantern. Oh, oh he got and he's dies instantly. That's it's GG. Over. It's over. It's over. That's GG. Wait. Yep. Oh Jesus. Some day did well, just run died. down. Did, tact did tactical just just died of the jungler, by the way. Yeah, he, he did run it. Closer is, is Thresh right now. He's he's playing Thresh. Or is he? Bye bye. Bye bye. Rip. Can they Another actually? Elder. I mean, seconds. it's Elder Baron. Yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, uh, gonna given our vision, that looked like such a advantage for TL there, but 
it was really hard. They didn't actually... Maybe they had a blue orb up. If they blue orb them or just warded where they thought they were and they just noticed they weren't there, then they totally could have hit Baron and killed it. Oh, yeah. Mayo's getting I, caught. I, I think the logic really just goes like, you don't know where the enemy team is if you're a TL. So but they did know they chunked you... the fuck out of them. That was like their information. Yeah. Yeah, they knew they're half HP and they don't know where they are. So how can you find out where the enemy team is? If they stay, it's a win, right? Because they're still half HP. They didn't heal up. If they base, it's a win too because you get Baron. Yeah, exactly. So like, it's it's a win-win situation either way and you're losing. I think that's like the mindset that you have to go into this is like any advantage that you possibly can get is a game-winning advantage because like you're not going to get that many opportunities. Otherwise, the team's Ooh. just going to steamroll you like this. How does Tactical not use anything there? Why didn't he I cleanse the stun? How did what? how did someday die? I want to watch this. He cleanse or pick? flash. Oh, he ended up using it right after he, he was already dead. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah. He yeah. definitely could have cleansed flash and gotten out. Diego's ulti damage was honestly really surprising to me, though. Like I I didn't think Tactical was gonna die instantly. Oh yeah, I mean, just junglers nowadays. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it had nothing to do with full build or anything. Just <laughs> oh, bye bye. Okay. Oh, Hoogie, I. Oh my god, Hoogie is just god! Hoogie's just a fucking god! I mean, they're, they have Elder and Baron, but like, that was sick. Damn, Damn. Alfari back in after the 1 7. Oh, shit. <sighs> well, not the cleanest finish by 100 Thieves, but. They did get the bag. That's oh my not legal. God, no Inst gambling in the U.S. <laughs> Insta one two Aphelios Thresh. Yeah, um, it, it didn't Aphelios look bad Thresh, last guys. game. I think Tactical played kind of bad in the fights, but it it I has to. I think the I'm team has to know how to like play around it mm -hmm. in that way. Isn't that gonna make it worse? Because like realistically, I, I do think that you get Harold when you play Aphelios Thresh. Like I don't know what really beats Aphelios Thresh in two v two, but assuming that. You can push, get a good reset timing, push again, swap for Herald, or hover for Herald. It's kind of just an instant guarantee of like five five hundred one k gold leads. Um, also, EG seems better. Danny's laning phase is honestly just like the worst I've ever seen in LCS. It's so bad. He's, I said Johnson's was the on. worst you've ever seen. I mean, they're both like really. Oh shit, out. dude! So it's the battle of the buttholes. It's like it's like it doesn't really matter who wins lane between Johnson and Danny. They're they're both just disgusting. What happens disgusting when a stoppable force meets a movable object? <laughs> I don't know. Like somehow, maybe they're both just gonna be forty CS down. <laughs> it just won't make sense. The supports are gonna take over, get all the CS. Yeah. Both AD carry starting so, longsword. So like sword. this game, right? Like, why would you a longsword when you're playing Aphelios? And, 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 and like, also, Aphelios thrust shits on Varus Dracon. Like, I want to see, I want to see a fucking murder bot lane. I, I think Aphelios thrust with heal versus Varus Dracon with fucking exhaust cleanse. If they play this against like Uzi or if they play this against any good bot I'm lane in the counting. world, they're just gonna get fucking destroyed. So I mean, Varus Dracon just go is incredibly weak. You and really think Uzi sums. could beat Danny? <laughs> I mean, it would be close. It'd be close. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, Danny might make it to level two. Ooh. Maybe, dude. That's a bit presumptuous. So, do you think people are doing the longsword start to like get your mythic sooner? Is is that the reason, or is it helps your laning phase? I think it's a bit of both. It it covers up a mistake that you would make in lane because. You know, you can play, first off, you can play super aggressive and just chug potions, so it kind of helps you play more aggro. And if you make a mistake, you can, again, just chug potions, but I think D-Blade lets you play more aggressive in the all-in, because you're having more stats for it. Yeah, Anywhere I, I think, like, help. before first recall, it's a little stronger, but after that, it's weaker. Mm -hmm. Until you get your mythic, and then not having Dorans for most of the game is kind of weird. Against a good player, you're gonna change. You're gonna have like a weird perception of your fighting power. No, it, I think it's only bad if you like were in a terrible matchup and you knew it, and then you bought Cole, because then you're just mm -hmm. down 80 HP. But like the sustain's better 
early. So like if you're not just getting install in, then it doesn't change anything. Like you just need enough autos to get more HP than you would have had with Doran's anyway, you know. And you can oh, also wow. proc cut down Ooh. easier. Wait, that was a flash chain, not a chain flash. Yeah. Maybe could have got the kill. Oh, 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 oh! Is he dead? Who? Pala? Are you behind? My good oh. sir. Wait, Palafox is about to have a fucking bad time. Is he dead? <laughs> Who's behind he's too? Dead. Yeah, he's dead. I think he is, Sneaky. I think he's dead. Yep. Is he dead? Hey, is he dead? He's dead. Wait, what time are you is guys at? Dead? I'm gonna speed up. <laughs> I'm at the time where he's dead. You guys gotta be real fucking confused. <laughs> I'm at 47, 48, Same. 49. Oh, okay, okay, nine, okay, we're good. Four minutes. <laughs> Double of questioning on my screen. He was dead. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Why didn't you say anything? Well, because he, I had, I was like, breath help. Mm. <laughs> he was dead. Yonsen, okay. Dreamies, Root. Ooh. They are chunked here. Silas is coming down. Silas is cooming. Silas is cooming, but LeBlanc has TP to match. Ooh. I think. I and think this Jungler's is here. A, I think this is a TP, like, bait your bot lane. Like, let your bot lane die so you can TP and kill everyone with, with the Blanc. Oh, shit. Let, let your bot lane die. Let your bot lane die. If you preemptive TP, they're not going to do anything. Yeah, let them die. Let them die. Oh, wait, uh -oh. what? Oh, 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 wow, nice. That was a nice angle on Lee Sin back there. Do you still let them die? Oh, shit. I, I would have let them die. I would have let them die. Like, I think it's better. I think it's better. He didn't get his wave in. Just so he can see it back to yeah, mid. Yeah, like, that's so bad for Palafox now. He TP and, and the enemy team committed nothing. Damn. I, I really like the way EG played that, like just finding the angle on Lee outside the turret where the LeBlanc TP couldn't be relevant. Yeah. That was nice. Jose I mean, was really crazy for, for playing uh, off the turret. I think I think like he needed to just give a lot give a lot more space, give a lot more respect. There's like a there's a better TP angle there. Like, you think it's in bot try right now? I, no, 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 no. I'm talking about like after Lee dies. Yeah, like, Jose he, did actually play this pretty bad. Yeah, Jose had no respect for the enemy team going on him. He's the one who's not under turret. So, so like that's why I think they should just let their bot lane get dove and then have the two clean up. Like Lee San doesn't play in lane; he plays in the jungle, right? He should just stay there and be ready to like, I guess, collapse on the enemy under turret. Oh well, it is what it is. And it's so weird to see that Evil Geniuses is the one who's ahead one game. Uh -oh. is, is this the exact same situation? <laughs> yeah. Holy fuck. Just Hold dives up. everywhere. Both, Holy both god. Both supports oh, are caught, by the way. Holy oh, shit. Oh, that set W. That was a big one. Well, well, well. I think well. Dreams is so fucked here. He has no flash. He's so fucked. Holy Good shit, stuff. dude. EG is fucking... No, EG is on a tear. It on this game. Monster stomping. I, I, I do want to point out that like Dreams has pretty good foresight for going top out of base there. Because Evil Geniuses is on like the front foot. So it's kind of up to Dreams to like read what Ignar is going to do. Ignar is known for like roaming a lot, but this was really good for him to try to cover top. I think Licorice just needs to play more respectfully again. Yeah, I mean, if you're half HP, like getting pushed in with such a fat wave like this this is pretty fucking bad no matter what this whole situation is just bad because licorice just wanted to Ooh, stand a turret he needs dude that to. was the 207 true damage on three people yeah nasty and and the initial start where he slams gwen into his two teammates that could not have been more perfect for eg like the start of that was just amazing for them I don't think that dive actually works if they just wait for LeBlanc. Uh huh. Blackbus is playing too greedy, man. Uh, dude, I don't, I don't imagine that Set is the answer to Gwen, is it? I don't think so. I mean, her a little bit. Yeah, the throwing oh. her out of her W is like the only positive interaction. Oh, not just see. solo kill for Gwen. No flash here. How lucky is it that Impact was is able to live here? Oh. We... Oh, oh my god, oh. how lucky is Impact right now? He is so happy. 
Yeah, that was really close. So, wait, the... Okay, that's not what I expected top lane. This fucking troll, actually. I think this is... Oh. I was like, Jose was, you know, searching for that gank, finds nothing, the wave pushes out. When it hits the turret, Licorice runs it down. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's... Yeah. Impacts are at the gank much that's, better. That's the, that's the, like, dichotomy of top laners. On one side, you have Impact, who's willing to lose gracefully when the enemy team is playing, when the enemy's, like, playing kind of fishy. And on the other side, you have Licorice, who just got helped by Jose. He just got hovered by his jungler. And then when his wave is on the enemy side of the... Like, almost at the turret, he has the wave fully pushed in, and he just goes in for no reason. Yeah. That is truly, like, top diff. Mm. Yep. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think Impact played it particularly well either. He, he definitely was on the edge of death. Wait, Stridebreaker on the new set? Whoa, that's pretty that crazy. sounds kind of horrible. Yeah, it, it might be good. I don't know. I, I have to see it. I mean, how do you get on people in the first place? Mm, I don't I don't know. I mean, can set never touch anyone? <laughs> no, never. <laughs> I think he can do Stridebreaker plays with Flash. He can, like, Flash E... Or like ulti in, stride breaker, flashy, something like that. I guess we'll see. Like I think when he actually gets on someone, it makes him way stickier. Yeah, it's gonna give him that extra rotation of like guarantee the W, right? Because normally they can dodge yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. And if it guarantees the W, then that could be pretty good. Yeah. I, I think that's what it is, because that nowadays it seems like all sets just do the HP stacking build and just try to pop with a big W every fight. Because he hit the turret. No, no, I looked that saw. This. He only got 50. Oh. Damn, that blows. That really yeah, they both just got 50. Oh my god, Impact sucks at last hitting. What is this? That, <laughs> that just made me cringe. He missed like four for no reason. <laughs> just would you say that to his face? I actually would always help Impact CS. Like when I watched him landing, I was like, "Why the fuck are you missing like these?" It's so easy. wow, that that's a lot of help. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like when I when when we were like going over his like lane, I was just like so annoyed watching him last hit. Hmm. Damn. I mean, if I could do it without you. <laughs> no, but like last hitting is like it's it is skill to know like how you're gonna prioritize like which CS. Oh my God, Sneaky, have you been having problems? I get like, I get like irrationally frustrated when I miss CS. Oh! oh! Is that a kill? Alex Baker? He's choosing the wrong one. Or he's oh, just getting he's free getting money. The wrong one. 25 gold. 25 wait, gold. Wait. He is RW. He is RW. He's baiting. Is that what he got? It looks like he didn't get the, does, the, does he only get the, the block the... W there. He got really? like Q or something. I think you get wow. his last casted spell, right? I yeah. think that's how it works. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because LeBlanc's ulti is always changing. I thought I thought he did it right as LeBlanc pressed W. It was close. Uh, is that. he TPing in front of Rakan? Oh my Jizman. god. Jizman! Jizman! Oh, oh, Wow! Oh. Jizman, oh my god. You're TPing right in front of the enemy team. Did they? Did the spectators just miss that? That he TPed literally in their face? We do a little bit of trolling. Here in Jizuke Studios. Did you guys see the Twitch chat? Uh, pause it. Little, little troll. <laughs> Yeah. This shit's pretty funny. I don't know where it came from, though. I don't know where it came from, either. Just a little Wait, bit. What was it? Just, like, troll face with the it's little troll face with emote. The... Oh, yeah. That one's so good. I don't know where the fuck it came from. I have no idea, either. It's fucking a funny, A little though. bit of troll. We do a little trolling. <laughs> I mean, J Jizz man seriously can't, can't be real right here, man. Are you fucking kidding? Like, what is this? They're gone. Right I guess. Guys? I guess they had it warded. <laughs> oh, Andy flashed. What the fuck? They have a lane ward. Wait, he flashed? That's the most just you came. Yo, right someone after needs smurfing. to do a tally. How many like just random, completely unnecessary oh. deaths does just you get? And and like, it must be like, like at least one per game on average, right? Like. Yeah. Something about, something but about how that. many random unnecessary me. kills does he get? Oh! Probably not as many as deaths. We do a little trolling, guys. <laughs> I 
Oh my god, Danny with six points in his Q. Holy fuck. Actually, wait, that means he was maxing lethality second. You saw that? Yeah, that's normal now. Didn't, didn't uh, we talk about that? I think I was right before CDR. Uh, I don't think I was there. Oh. Yeah. yeah, no, lethality second max is um, the meta now. Because you get 27 lethality by the time you're level 12. Oh my god. They're getting Gwen a little bit. Yeah, it's, it was. Oh my god. What the? Daddy! Where did Barris just Daddy. go? That was beautiful. It looks so weird. You came in late to it. Dude, it's because if Barris R flashed, Danny flashes it and then he uses ulti Gale Force auto Q. That was. I want to I wanna see the replay. That was sick. Oh, here we go. I want to see. Oh, it looks like Johnson's going in. Oh. Yeah, they both ult at the same time and flash at the same time. That was so cool. <laughs> he just got fucking Johnson one got banged. Deleted. That was like two shot. Yeah. 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 Danny's on IE, right? Yeah. That's that's Aphelios God Spike. It's twenty seven lethality when it's maxed, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I just pulled it up. It's, it's twenty seven lethality versus thirty six attack speed, and I think most of the time, twenty seven lethality is just going to be way better. Uh, yeah, because like, would you rather have like think about this? Would you rather have like eighty lethality or hundred attack speed? I'd rather have eighty lethality. Like if you scale really? that number up. I mean, the thing yeah. is, is lethality is better with abilities. Felius's Fel abilities are dog shit. Uh, not that I like lethality is so. bad, but you don't think what? I, the, I would the rather. I would trash? rather hit harder. I would rather hit harder than get one extra auto in. Well, so, I don't know not, if I even say it's not one. 36 attack speed is going to give you like that's one a, extra auto. No, that's a shitload of attack speed, bro. That's literally tier 2 boots. You, you, you know the difference of tier 2 boots to no tier 2 boots, right? That's yeah, fucking that's crazy true. attack speed. But it doesn't yeah. give you more attacks like linearly like that. Like going from going from no boots to tier 2 boots and then getting an extra 35% attack speed on top of that doesn't increase your damage to the same amount. Sure about that? I don't, sure. under, I don't know attack speed values like that. Attack speed feels like it scales really weird. Oh, Thresh hooking LeBlanc. No, nah, Sneaky, the thing I would say though is um, I think normally lethality scales off abilities because like you can't have lethality and crit together most of the time. But if you look at someone like Corky, like he gets Sork Boots and he builds crit and he's just like fucking one shotting everyone. So I think it's just like you can't really have that combo most of the time. But. Oh, yeah, yeah. With Aphelios getting get it for free, I think it's super valuable because it scales well with the other stats. It's like, that, that's one thing when, one reason why I always like roll my eyes when people do like, you know, uh, the, you know, gold efficiency of stuff is it's like, the efficiency changes a shitload depending on what else you have, right? It's like, yeah, yeah. a death cap yeah. Riven is the example I always like because it's like, she has literally no AP scalings. It's fucking useless. Yeah. Yeah, and I think against an AD carry, lethality has to be better. Just because you're doing very, you're like getting very close to doing true damage on AD carries. Extremely yeah. Extremely close. And when you get lower doms, it's even more value because like it yeah. does the percent before Flatting the lethality. Percent. So yeah, I think Aphelios is just going to be like DPS king with that. Especially against yeah, squishies. It's, it's, it's big, it's big. Uh -huh. He has like so many flat damage increases with like Conquer, flat AD from his Q, and then lethality. I yeah, yeah, yeah. My god, he just crit him for 500. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, the Varisol. Yeah. Hard. Oh, oh, shit. Now. What is happening? Oh. I can't see. EG's I positioning see does dead. not look very not. good, but they're just so ahead, it oh. doesn't matter. Yeah. It was just a. That was, yeah, was kind of outstanded there. Yeah, FlyQuest actually had a pretty decent positioning for the fight, but I don't think you can win this. No. Their Danny comp's really died. squishy with very low sustained damage. You hate to see that. Yeah. When I was saying they're the trickster comp, it's because remember you said they're like the clever comp because all their yeah. champs are kind of like you know fucking like the cloak yeah. and dagger style, like hit and run type champs. And yeah, that's you kind of have to just outplay your perfect. opponent to make that shit work. It's not looking good for Team FlyQuest. They look very tilted, and I don't blame Smoke. them. They lost eight in a row. Yeah. Oh, they're eight in a row. Jesus. Yep. That's actually crazy. So they haven't gotten an LCS win in like three weeks. <laughs> Live fam. In free fall. In shambles. Jose looks like shit now too, though. 
used to be their shining star ever since the Kindred game. Dude, he got, he got I, on tilt. He had that Rumble I, game I where he was. Oh my god! Go ahead, go ahead. I'm not even kidding, dude. I said it right dude, when that happened. I'm like, that is that is a fucking team destroyer. <laughs> you cannot recover from that. <laughs> Nine lives Damn, taken. Dude. I eh. called it. I mean, we we were. I think you were actually going to get like a tumor from from that game. I remember you. Yes. Were, you were so annoyed. I was so mad. Yeah, that game. I don't. Did you see anything that Johnson was, was should have done differently, Sneaky? I, I feel like he he didn't really have much to do that game. In the whole game. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. You know. Yeah, I mean, what, the... what even happened? I don't. I don't think really Johnson made any glaring issue, mistakes. It was just the game was so hard for his team. Yeah, I mean, the way this game looked to me, it was it was like Palafox died. Like they, he played really uh, aggressively. The mid. death. Yeah, the yep, recall got death. killed on the recall, and then uh, EG just... I feel like their mid-jungle played really fucking well. I mean, it was kind of just a full team, right? It's like every time they got the move window, they dove together. Like, they dove bot, then they dove top, and it didn't feel like Fly had a lot they could do about it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, specifically for Johnson, too. Like, he was a part of that uh, balling play where Jose died and then... LeBlanc had to, like, TP to save the bot lane, preemptively. Level, uh, yeah. level like, 3-4. Yeah. Three, four. yeah. It's kind of uh, like the, far, the end far. of his involvement in the game. <laughs> I think everything else, he was just zero 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 until he yeah. died once. Nothing to do. He died to that, like, random set roam to mid. Just walked up behind him. you play that comp... That FlyQuest had. If you fall behind, it's it's unplayable. You just because the more behind you are, the the more percentage of the game you're spending under turret, the more percentage of the game you're spending showing on enemy wards. Mm -hmm. Even just like the more percentage of the game you're you're spending farming so you can catch up in items. Meanwhile, the enemy team is just they're never gonna fall for any of your traps. So I think it was fucked after Jose died. The blower. Yeah, and that's just such a bad death to have, dude. Like, or not, not the Jose one, but I was thinking the Palafox death, the first one. Just fucking mm -hmm. start snowballing a Silas when you were in a spot where, like, you know, you're shitting on him just because you did a troll recall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that was fat. Wait, Jazuke desk interview. Jizz man, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the interview on and I'm gonna go pee beer back. You gotta yeah, go I to hear this. stream. If you play 80%, 90% of the times correctly, and then you win those 10%, why would you uh, uh, F <laughs> 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 Why would you F care about uh, the ten percent, you yeah. know? Like you yeah. should be you should they, they should uh, like if Caps did this uh, it would be aha claps uh, is back you know <laughs> no, uh, sorry not uh, claps claps is back or something claps, you know? yeah. and, and then uh, but it's morphing 80 90 percent of the game yeah. right yeah. and uh, this is not working for me right now so but for me i'm just uh, i'm like that right now and uh, i'm just uh, way to uh, my bad plays are getting ignited so much but my good plays are never related you know mm. just that that's what i feel like Jizuke, you came to us as a very explosive player, and I love hearing you continue to talk about your own play and joining us on the desk here after your game. Thank yeah, you there so is much. one interesting... You guys are listening to the thing, right? Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, there is one thing that's interesting with, like, uh, how you feel you're playing, too, because I, I know there's been times in LCS where, like, I felt like I played really well, and then I'll go back and watch, and, like, the things that I was doing that were good weren't even caught on camera. Like... Yeah, they're yeah, just that things that are going more, by that nobody notices. Yeah, it's it's just quiet advantages that happen off camp. Yeah, like fucking. I would say. Like I, I, I get like say, I, I fucking Ezreal snipe across the map after a team fight was lost from my team, and like I snipe and kill a guy, and like I check the vod, and literally no, nothing is said about it. <laughs> yeah. It's just like what the fuck? Like wait, like that was so good because I got that snipe, and I'm just like wait, like nobody even knows. Yeah. Could be no, happening think, for Jizuke too. I think Jizuke has an idea that like his good plays don't get highlighted, 
as much as his bad plays get highlighted. And I think they're both they're both equally highlighted. That's the nature of being of playing like him. But there are games where the game is completely 100% won. Like, do you guys remember the Lucian game where they're literally like 5k gold ahead and Saligo is playing Akali and he can't even lane? Like, that uh-huh. game was 100% just he solo lost the game. Right? Like, it, it, there was, that was a game where all he had to do was not jump in as Tristana and he jumped in and, oh, and solo yeah. lost the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, any, any player, not just him, would get criticized a lot for that. When it's like un- unlosable game, and you just give it away, uh, but the thing about it is Shizuke, because of his play style, it happens a lot more to him. So, I mean, he just makes a lot more of those mistakes. So, I mean, like, I I would never ever criticize someone for playing aggro. I would actually never criticize anyone for playing even greedy, uh, as long as they're making it work. But yeah, it's like if, you're if throwing, they take all the resources and die, then yeah, it's just and like, you're throwing, well, that's not okay. Yeah. Then you should just be a role player. Because then, because then, like, if they're taking the resources and never fucking up, or you know, like super small percent rather than the the high percent we feel, then you look yeah. at it and it's like, damn, like maybe this is actually a strategy that can work. Like maybe more yeah. teams should try this kind of thing. But then it's <laughs> it's like, well, he dies just as often with the resources. <laughs> yeah, it's like Showmaker. Like that guy farms twelve CS per minute, and Chovy, those guys farm like. I'm sure their jungler is not happy. <laughs> that's that's just the way it is. The jungler is never getting into raptors, but um, yeah, they're so fucking good. If you give them the resources, they're not going to mess up. You're going for like, I win if I dodge your skill shot. I lose if okay. I don't. Type uh-huh. of play. Yeah, so right. is saying that like he's unfairly criticized for going for that when the best players in the world do that, and. I think that's like the fine line between being a good player and a great player. I think Shizuke is good. A great player just doesn't lose those. That's just the way it <laughs> he is. Don't like, miss. The best players in the world just don't lose. Yeah. It's like playing NFPS. It's like I go for the ego peak. And if I win most of the time, you look like if a I god. Win, like, a good percentage of the time, yeah, I'm good. If I win most of the time, I'm a god. Yeah. I mean, I, I think we give Jizuke some credit when he does the good plays. Like, I remember his Lucian game last week where, like, he got ganked and then TP'd back in and, like, roamed top for the dive. That kind of play you don't see often. I, I think the way, yeah, like, when sick. he pressures side lanes, he does that really well. Yeah. But, I don't know. I, st- I stand by most of the criticism I have for Jizuke. Maybe it's more than it needs to be, but I don't think we're, like, shitting on him even though he's playing well. Yeah. That man is Wario. And I'm going to... Someone in my chat said it. I, I can't unsee it anymore. Yeah, okay, dude. Well, I, I mean, I think... Okay now. I think Wario is definitely his aesthetic, but it's like... I I don't... Is it, That's not like a racist thing, right? Because she's Italian, like... Is it in bad taste to call Jizuke Wario? I don't think so. I, I don't... I think that's offensive and i didn't even think about the italian connection it's it's more just he gives that wario energy oh yeah dude he's the, mega wario energy i guess it just depends if he likes it or not oh if he does like a wario cosplay then then we're good <laughs> jizuke should show up to lcs in a fucking wario outfit that would be hilarious don't care about your health, guys. Just eat chips and whatever the fuck you want. Just, just whatever and eat, whatever dopamine you need, so you can play another hour of league. That is like dystopian shit. I just think that's what naturally, like, really obsessed players gravitate towards. I think like mm. the the people who are completely obsessed with being the best don't care about that stuff. They could not give less of a fuck about going to the gym. They could not care about eating a salad. They just want oh, to play. Oh, Neo's boned. Wait, is he oh, not yeah. boned? Oh. No, he's alive. Afro's he got back. hooked and Lee Sin queued and he doesn't die. Afro is alive? Oh my Ow! god. How is Dave Is TSM this? all dead? I'm oh so my god, he was alive! Right now. <laughs> oh! 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 Wait, wait, wait! Hey, hello? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Holy fuck. Oh, oh my god. Shit. Oh. Oh my shit. <laughs> How did D come out ahead there? <laughs> Dude, this fight was fucking insane. Dude, that was so close. Are I'm you... not gonna lie, Lost choked the fuck out of that. <laughs> like, he choked the absolute fuck out of that fight. 
His Q could have killed anyone there. Yeah. And it went to both. <laughs> oh it was so God. close. Oh, Jesus. So two things happened there that really fucked Lost. Number one, his E went on cooldown. So he pressed it at a bad time. Yeah, I need kill. to see it again. And the other thing that happened is at the very end, that Q, if it just hit either of the 1 HP targets, they were dead. Let's here, let's here see Lost. And speak it. Speak it choked us. Yeah, I... Oh, he wasn't six. That, that's what so happened. He, hits he was six only five. And he kicks, he kicks Neo out with one HP, which is honestly tragic, but. Wow, that Ezel hits both of them there? That Q, lost, lost Q, first oh. one, missed. I don't know if you saw, but it missed just now. No, I didn't even catch yeah, it. Yeah, because kick was pretty unfortunate. And then let's see how, how does Lost end up using his E. So yeah, a little too early. Wow. Oh my and... God. Oh my. Oh, they pulled it. No. No. That was Yo, the exciting uh, part. What's your game time now? I'm trying to sync up. 90, 36, 37. 38. Nine, 90. I got a 39. Yeah. <laughs> 42, 43, 44. Okay, well, I think I'm good now. so hard. What are yeah, it really is. The timer's <laughs> I'm seeing the same fucked. legs. I think we're good. Okay. <laughs> Fucking 90. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was time is dilating while we're, we're in the zone, guys. We're in flow state right now. This this actually is getting to the point where Sleblanc like every game. Yeah. Pretty interesting. This I wonder if it's just because G2 lost to Leblanc. So they're like, fuck, it's OP. It's just broken. Oh? I mean, Leblanc is one of those champs. Like, if she's playable, she's probably going to get played. She's just fucking safe, high kill pressure. Doesn't scale bad, as long as she's not, like, giga behind. <clears throat> yeah. I don't. I, I I don't hate it because Fake Out has TP. What's happening here? It's a split map. They get the first turret. Now Fake Out can cover bot with TP. I don't like how long it's taking them to get back on the turret. It's because Neo based. So I'd rather have him just stay there. So now Fake Out needs to back off so he can TP. Is he not actually thinking about it or playing for it? Like his bot lane just can't farm. Hello? Yeah, I don't necessarily. Get Look at how fucked Neo here. is getting. I think there you have to give back to your bot lane. You you split map, you got five plates top with Herald. So afterwards you back off and you ready to TP. Ooh. Oh. That was actually a nice flash by Yasui. Yeah. And and in the end, like what advantage does Dig actually get for doing what they did? Their bot lane couldn't farm for like two minutes, and they ended up doing five plates to five plates. So how is that an advantage for their Herald? Herald is supposed to give you a gold lead. Yeah, I think that was a big misplay by them. I'd be annoyed as fuck if I was Neo. Like that extra wave that Fake God got top is totally not worth giving a turret. Not even close. Zen yeah. could have totally picked up that wave. It's just whack macro. Imagine there's two targets. One is in front of you, one is behind you by like 600 range. If you ult the one in... Th so you're sandwiched. You ult one... And then you flash backwards, it will knock them both up. It will knock up the one behind you first, and then it will travel to the one, like, that you originally ulted, right? Because, like, the little death charges knock up in their range. And it's because the way Nautilus ulti works is, like, the first death charge that comes out is always a certain range in front of you, and it's wherever you're facing. So if you ult and you flash, you're facing a different direction, it will, like... Yeah, it's, it's just a really amazing oh. angle. Huge fight. I should watch this clip later. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's oh my god. Oh, Spika just saved Afro again? Yeah, Holy Spika's shit. kinda Spika's not having a good game. I thought Neo... Spika was the least in guy. Yo, Neo and Acadian both played that really troll. Neo? That's okay up? though. Well what they both do? like flashed on loss, but uh -oh. neither of them hit anything. <laughs> yeah. It still ends up being really good. I guess they just get drag. All right, check the clean meters fast. <laughs> All right, I'm watching. I'm watching. I think it's the same thing. Even as if when you're a good I... player, dude. Like, did you was... see what this shy did? He would fucking smurf on pro players. So oh yeah, impressive. yeah. I just mean like if you're new and that guy is is a Kalista top player. It, it, oh yeah, it's it, especially if he's good. It's fucking over, dude. When when I play flex queue with Lena, and sometimes I'll just play top randomly. Hold that thought. 
Oh. Sword Art still has ulti. Yoink. Oh, yoink. Better for Silas. Uh, Floss ult cooldown is really long. Silas ult cooldown is really short. But yeah, I don't like the way Dig are looking at this Baron, dude. They, they look like no, they want to hit no. this Baron. No, like Piranhas. Dude, why? Oh, stop it. Get off. What? Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Don't do it. Don't do it, please. Oh, it's because Fake got TP'd, so they're like, yep, we got to do it now. This is. No, please, uh, please, please get off. Well, no, come on, guys. This don't is do Dignitas. It. It's in their oh, DNA. Oh, please. This is so bad. Get off. Get off. Get off. Okay. okay. They wow, got TP. I'm, they got Huni's TP. I'm surprised Huni TP'd. I, I don't think Huni should have TP'd that early. That's, that's oh. what He should have allowed Dig to throw the game. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh shit. He's Where did still Nara just dead? Go? Are you kidding? How the fuck in any world was that a catch on Huni? What? Yeah, he looked like it was okay. He had flash and. De oh, maybe he didn't have uh, his E up. He already used. Anyways, have you guys ever played against Darius top? <laughs> oh Ooh. my god. God, bye he bye. just got ping pong so hard. Is it a bear now? Um, yeah, I think you can bear now, actually. I think this is free. I don't think yeah. Kissim can stop this. Yeah. You're, yeah, you're saying can he like play against Darius top? Yeah, I mean, that's traumatizing. He just literally walks at you, and he's a ball of stats. There's no outplaying Darius. <laughs> and you can only lose. And every Darius player, even in, like, silver and gold, just plays perma aggro no matter what. And it's like, yeah. I can't fucking win against this champ 1v1, like... Darius I'm, I'm is actually my ban when I'm playing top lane. I do ban Darius, not because, like, I don't think he's anywhere near as bad as actual laning phase against Callisto. Like, you'll generally go down, like, some CS in lane, but you can play safe to not die. Yeah. Um. But yeah, he's just annoying to play against. You're right, it never feels like you can beat him. It's just like, you're losing lane, and then he's going to be useless later. One thing I really, that's like funny about champs like Silas and Viego is like the most useless member on your team is actually doing you like active harm. So like this game, Huni is like actively fucking his team by giving Silas the best ult <laughs> in the game. And like, if you're playing against Viego, like sometimes your support is just running it down. But like, if he dies and Viego turns into like Blitzcrank or some oh. shit, it's like so bad. Wait, did his Gnarl run out? Yeah, it did. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I was like, he had the angle that... It's pretty oh, fucking oh, oh. interesting time to go in if right when your fucking ult runs out, but all right. Yeah, I think he was trying to time it. It's barely. Yeah, now, they still got the inhib though. Half pressure just base. I think there's no need to rush this game if you're dig. You're you're really comfortably ahead, and I think you're gonna probably just wait till Baron at this point or third dragon is gonna be nothing. I would say. I don't think either. Wait, how did dig not get third dragon? I they they just Baron and then on recall TSM rushed it. Yeah. I kind of missed that. Yeah, it looks. It sounds like it. it. Seems like it. It's a bit of a shame too, because then this next drag could have been the game-ending one. Yeah. Just goes to show how important it actually is. Dragon is Drags. like a fucking stonk. You have to invest in it if you're winning. Yep. That's not my philosophy on dragons and Zulky lately. It's like if I'm winning, it's highest priority. If I'm losing, it's kind of whatever. Yep. Just try to trade it for something. No trading allowed. I get all objectives. Oh, Speaker's caught, but he's gonna buy a lot of time. Look at how slow he is. <laughs> Dude, what? Yeah, man, this item's yeah, pretty fucking... W and it's almost up again! What is this Whoa. cooldown? No, why... Why did you pink ward? Okay, whatever. Is he gonna survive, Puggers? Oh, Spika is so out, dude. I think he lives this. Damn. Fuck. I mean, it's fine. He has two more pink dude, wards. You know, um, something that's really relatable from what you said gets on his interview is that's how I feel when I play Lee Sin, right? Because, like, people who are considered good Lee Sins, like, no matter who plays Lee, you'll have some plays that look like shit. But I feel like for me, there's, like, that narrative of, like, Meteos, Lee Sin, Omega Lol. And so it's just like, anything I do, people are like, wow, fucking bad. Then you have a good Lee Sin player who's running it down, they're just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. This is what yeah. most focus Welcome is on. Welcome to any public-facing narrative, though. It just sucks, but... Happens, I guess. It, it can't, I think, you can't let it affect... Yeah. Your ...decisions or your play. Oh my god, Pewie's dead? Oh my god, Pewie's dead! Yes, he is. 
Silas has enemy in Look at Silas. He's everything. Silas is everything. You silly, you fucking pussy. Just go. <laughs> yeah, man. Dive double Nexus turrets. Come on. I Where mean, he has flash ulti. Just kill their AD carry, Where man. Where does balls go? He didn't. He never had balls, man. He's just such a pussy. Every game, you can do something, bro. <laughs> flash our ulti, like. There we go. There we go. Oh. Thank you. It's unplayable for this G G. GG, I guess. Oh? Oh, wait. Huni with one back, but why does his do no damage, guys? Unlucky. Huni does uh, five damage, and Silas still royalty has like a 20,000 AP ratio. Just kills That's everyone. Balanced. Trickster stonks are d down bad today, dude. Who? Trickster stonks? The team running oh, the trickster yeah. comps? Oh, yeah. Ha so, has LeBlanc lost every game? It won the... <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, LeBlanc did lose every game. Although Police Jensen's and LeBlanc game... together has lost all three games. Yeah. Well, that was a weird game. TSM looking pretty fucking lifeless. Dig had some good moments. I think TSM's comp was... Yeah, their comp scuffed. was hard. Hard to execute. It's weird because TSM also or TSM got a, like a huge free play by taking five plate spot. Like if I was in a situation where like my top laner is getting heralded on and he's getting fucked, but like we get just as much, it's the game feels good. You know, the the game feels really good that like their herald amounted to nothing and like we're trading evenly, but it just didn't seem like anything came of that. It just seemed like Kalista got a shit ton of gold off the turret. And then proceeded to. I, you can't do anything. Just nothing to do mid. Nothing. Can't even go side lane. It's hard. Yeah. Thank you, Captain. Oh my Flowers. God! Interview we with are here Baker? with Fake God Top Laner for Dignitas. We First time God. we're getting to hear from you on the stage since the start of summer. What has the split been like you for so far with the evolution of the Dignitas roster? Uh, it's been pretty pretty wild, I'd say. I think wild wow, is a fair is way to describe it. I think Acadian, you can also describe yeah, his wild. personality or his performance rather as wild in that want to last talk game. About it. Coming, spending a lot of time top. How have you both scarred. been working on creating that synergy and kind of allowing it to affect the rest of the team? Uh, just normal stuff. We just talk about how we want to play and what we want to do, and just that's it. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, oh my god. All right, cut the tape. Normal, cut the fucking tape. I, they, they need to end this interview the now. Right throughout the year. Right. Pull out. Pull out. Even more so now within this current iteration of the roster. Uh, yeah. We have uh, like three slightly inexperienced players, I guess. So it's like me, David, and then Neil. But we're getting more experienced now, so. It's fine. Wow. Raising the XP These, every time this is the worst stage. interview I've ever seen. I'll last thing for you, you think Eddie should have pulled out of my asshole right now. This is a like fucking... TSM, who it's close to balls and lemon. High in the standings. This is no. so bad. I didn't really know where they were. I mean, right now, I, the biggest focus for me and our team, I think, is just focusing on ourselves and making sure we don't lose to ourselves first. Uh-huh. All right. Nobody wants 19. to lose to ourselves, yeah. that's for sure. Fake God, thank you so much for joining me on the stage. Shout out to your team for hanging out here in the audience. Always great to have that. Yeah, you can clap. I see you holding your uh, hands. There you go. Who's in the audience? All right, everybody. That was the Is end of our Dignitas victory. We're going to kick it to a break. But on the other side, C9 will be taken on IMT. You don't want to miss it. See you yeah, there. That's interview of the year, boys. Now this is going in a highlight reel. Jesus Christ. I didn't order a pizza. That I know. But that was maybe the best so interview I've ever heard. Brought you a little something special. Yeah, what if we got an interview with like a Caitlyn cosplayer or something? No, 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 no. Maybe Double if could join? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Thinking, where are your old interviews, dude? I gotta dig this up now. I don't have any. They're all they're all deleted, don't worry. Really? <laughs> no. No, you're so who's going to win? Who's your prediction? For this game? Yep. Hmm. Uh, given the champions so far, I like Immortals champions a lot better. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think 
I think C9 is going to win because this is their resurgence week. Also, Prix makes more money than the entire Immortals organization pays for <laughs> players, staff, housing. And ha housing. <laughs> yeah. Well, Prix could actually just the house. absorb Immortals. He could, he could actually <laughs> just outbid them and be like, I'm going to all fucking pay you guys 20% more. By the way, uh, C9's comp went from being like really squishy and whatever to being like giga fucking face roll. Giga poggers. They just have like the most fucking, I don't know, press and uh, like war jump kick, Diana E, Akali ulti, Eclipse ulti on the closest target kind of comp. They have a very hard dive comp. And yeah. Revenge seems to really like playing these extremely vulnerable champs into dive comps. He made the Jace work. Just, wow, Perks looks really weird with the hat on. <laughs> I didn't even been... recognize that was him at first. They haven't actually allowed hats in LCS for some reason. Did you guys know that Nocturne is three out of five of the top highest rated champs in the game? Because he's played in three roles. Oh, yeah. I saw something like that. Yeah, I mean, dude, it, it's literally his ult. His ult is so stupid. Oh, three out of six. Sorry. It's fucking crazy, yeah. It's pretty you strong. Stick him in any role, and he's the highest rated. He's the highest win rate champ in that role. I'm done counting. I'm not surprised in the slightest. It, it's the same effect as Karthus. Just like some ability that has zero room for skill expression or outplay is going to be pretty fucking good. And if the champ's not just garbage at everything else aside from that, like, they're going to be strong. Yeah, it just it just screams that the champ's gonna get gutted. So I, I feel like wary of anybody migrating with Nocturne. I really hope they just nerf his fucking ult. But in their typical Riot fashion, I'm sure they're gonna nerf the values on every single ability, his base stats a few times until he's unplayable and still has a six second darkness. Yeah, no, they're they're gonna gut him. There's no doubt about it. They're gonna they're gonna completely destroy Nocturne. So he's like, just but he's shit. action packed. Yeah, <laughs> he is. He is. Small advantages coming from C9's bot lane, warding the enemy jungle. That's like really big because their top laner is getting shit on. So you you need like Dude. to know. Oh. oh wow! This is a flashing angle by Vulcan. I want to see it, but at the same time, it could be gift FTPs. Do yeah, it, dude, I, Blabber's actually not playing clearing yeah. oh, the Vulcan, correctly. Oh, Vulcan, you're a choker! Oh. Is he doing to die anyways? No, he's not. Oh, no. Vulcan, all you had to do was flash exhaust that, bro. Wow. Flash short W'd. Yeah, he flashed short W'd and it missed, but the real play there is to flash and exhaust. You have Nimbus Cloak, you will catch up to his flash. Oh, shit, I like this play by Xerxy. Wow. wow, that is such a punish for Perks. Yeah, yeah, Perks can't he get back to He just cut off the lane. rotation so he can't get back to but, lane. But look at Blabber. He took the wave and now he's ready to fight. If he had six off this, it's... Oh, no. It's not nothing. Destiny's just there, too. That was a nice that, play by Xerxes. That, that was That really was the punish. Seriously. Such a big commitment by Perks to TP bot behind. And, man, all Vulcan had to do was press exhaust. But that's okay. Yep. That's when sometimes... It feels bad to, that leaks a team game because because of Vulcan's mistake, now Perks is going to pay the price, you know? Like, yeah. the blood See, now his bot lane is going to still be fine, you know? Vulcan's in a comfortable situation. But Perks uh, kind of got fucked by him. So, like, if you uh, had okay. a spear in yeah. all of them and then you queued, it would do three. Yeah, only existing. So, okay. you, you press QE and it will. I'll, I'll tell you later. So gangbang at Harold. Oh wow! Ooh, he just goes. How is oh that good? God. It's obviously not. Perks is oh, saved by the Galio alt. Yeah, that was really great. Looks like Blabber, Blabber, is Blabber is just, just dead. It's fucked because his teammate decided to run it. Amazing, amazing. I thought he was gonna kill Xerxes for a second. Perks yeah. is actually just. There's no way that that was a play ever in a million years. No one was even close to being in that, like kill range. That was disgusting that was pretty yeah, crazy it, look, it looked like he was trying to set up the galio alt but that was so fucking deep for nikali 
Yeah, there's like not actually a real angle there. If anything, no, they just kill Harold and they get so out. much here if they just don't fight. Like, look at Blabber flashing too. Yeah. Wait, did I... Blabber fail flash? Yeah. Pretty kind much. Of. Or is he kind of the wall? Wait, let me check. I think Blabber fail flashed. Ah, uh, no, not actually. He flashed in a yeah, yeah, direction. Yeah. It just was. Th there not was good. no way he was close enough to getting over the wall with his flash. Oh, though. I see. He was trying to get close enough to E, but he was still pretty far. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't really a fail flash, just a garbage flash. <laughs> he did what he was trying to do, but it was just <laughs> a dumb idea. <laughs> yeah. So the existing spears and the range minions will snap before it has time to like get passed through. Because you snap the, the spears immediately, the second that you shot your Q. Yeah. So like those don't those don't actually get applied to the furthest target back. Yeah. Unless you're, oh, like, super oh, oh, revenge. Clean, clean, clean. Xerxes gone too. They're and just Destiny. dead. Yeah, they're all dead now. Well, it's... Uh... Oh. Yep. Yep. Wow, nice play by C9. That is... Why series. picking Lucian to this kind of comp is just incredibly risky. Like you're so vulnerable to yeah. Like almost any of these champs. Obviously not Galio, but can just fucking catch you out and kill you. Mm -hmm. I mean, revenge played that like a monkey. This is true. <laughs> well, we can get the replay here. Let's see. I mean, just just watch revenge. Just watch revenge. So they go in. They think they have the pick. He gale forced forward, and now oh. he's 1 HP. <laughs> Ults the oh minion my wave. Oh god, yeah, he Revenge fucked his whole angle. Like yeah, that was not too clean. It's actually similar to, um, like, uh, they kind of removed the problem, but before on stage you could hear the crowd rumbling when someone was on baron yep oh yeah yeah i don't think you heard the crowd but you heard the bass for sure from the baron autos yeah like the fucking stage would tell you someone was on baron yeah i i i, I never know how to feel about that because it's like so fucking obvious it's happening but like i kind of feel like i'm cheating if i'm like hey guys i hear the fucking baron bass let's go check it i don't give a single fuck when that happens <laughs> i just say you guys are on baron yeah i mean you can't do anything like, about it care. you can't be like Leeson nah. does it again Leeson the during the game factor, the fudge factor is really letting us down since msi <laughs> he's he's not been performing Hmm. I don't recall all of his performances. Dude, I, I honestly, if I was a coach, I would tell my players, there's no fucking way you can practice Lee Sin on 60 ping, don't bother. You will <laughs> not be good enough at him. It's yeah. not I mean, worth if it. You only play uh -oh. some shit. Okay. Nocturne, save? But if you can't play him in solo queue, you can't practice him enough. Oh, Nocturne is literally there. Oh. Oh. Icy. So basically what you're saying is you have to boot camp in Chicago if you want to play Lee Sin. Oh! Or like Korea slash Europe. Wait, so I think NA Solo Queue is kill! I think NA Solo Queue is looking great right now. Uh-huh. Yeah, you just solo killed EU's best. What happened? This is the aftermath, right? Yeah. He's just dead? No shroud? Oh. Okay. I guess it was down for sure at the start. It must have been down. He had, he had flash. I don't think would have made a difference though. So. Okay. Was his rocket belt down as well? The, Probably. I mean, he just got factor. in earlier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of one k. It built into like two items, like wits in and hurricane. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh my god. Does buzz still exist in the game? Uh, oh I think yeah. it's it goes into Nashers. It builds out of the daggers. Oh. Okay. Oh, Vulcan. No, no, no. Oh. Oh. Fudge factor. Taking Destiny. Factor. Okay. I mean, they get him. Not bad. Not bad. 
Ooh, and no, perks, wait, 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 perks, perks might be fine. I like the Zonias. I like the Zonias. I think he's fine. Perks should be fine. He still has ult. I don't know if I like that target choice by Insanity. Oh. 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 Wait. In. This is Holy big. This shit. Is big. Yeah, this looks like C9 is going to clean this up. It's a smash. Can they Blabber, Baron? Blabber. Dragon's up. If I was C9, I would actually just get both. Like, I don't think there's a need to rush Baron like this. You could have gotten both. 25 seconds on two people. I don't think it gets Baron after drag. Would be, no, I, I would get would Baron be hard. for sure. Would it be hard? I, th I think like, you just get dragon. You'd have to send at least two strong people to be able to get dragon in Nocturne and Lucian's face. I would just go and quickly do it. Maybe, maybe then you wouldn't have time for Baron, yeah. No, I you definitely wouldn't. 25 seconds, and they're already mid lane, so. It's close timing. Mm -hmm. You get way more tempo this way. Yeah. You just slow your, like, soul, is all. It just. Yeah. The, the like, true greed play is, like, get drag. Be on soul point, use Baron, and then like a minute leading up to the soul point, you like, you just have had Baron that whole time. Mm -hmm. The problem would be insanity. literally getting the Baron. It's, or not insanity. Destiny just died without doing anything because he didn't realize he had to flash. Mm -hmm. This this like turn by Blabber and I think Vulcan was, was pretty cool. Oh, it was close to ulti and yeah. Yeah, he got the uh, flash ER on two. We have the Cyrildas. Did he just finish it? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's see if he just this wins. Is, this is the macro I like to see with Baron where you send everyone bot and then you have kind of like the odd man out mid. And that way, like, after you're done with the side, you have immediately just go mid and take mid and hit. Mm -hmm. It feels safer to do this than to send for mid. Oh, they're gonna have to wait. They're gonna have to wait for one more wave or they're just not even gonna go mid, okay. Interesting. How does IMT win this one? They need Lucian to just call everybody down. Yeah, it kind of has to be the Lucian show. I mean, Lucian is not bad against champs like Lee Sin, Akali, Diana. You have like really, you're probably one of the AD carries that has like the most outplay potential because you have so many dashes. Yeah, you might be, you're also you might be able to like turn and engage. Yeah, squishy. So is every AD carry though. Yeah, I would. <laughs> if I was revenge, I probably wouldn't want to play an AD carry at all into these kind of champs. Yeah, it's high risk. It's also high reward though, because he can kill a anybody real mm -hmm. fast. His champ is not bad. I'm curious what the call fields is going to build into. Is it Essence Reaper? Must it's be. It's the... Uh... Probably. It must be Essence. Yeah, it's got to be. I was thinking Navori, but Navori with one cur item sounds mega grief. A little cringe. Ezreal is like... So easy to do no damage on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just have to miss, like, even if you just miss one Q, if that's the Q that would have, like, reset your E cooldown so you would have gotten the kill, it's like there's such a huge snowball effect on Ezreal where, like, missing anything, you don't know what kind of butterfly effect that would have had on the rest of the fight. Just having 1.5 second reduction on everything else. Yeah. The butterfly effect. It's true, though. It is a snowball. And uh, it happened. But it actually doesn't matter because they have the super smite. So it's, they just need to call a number. Probably 2k. Do a 2k. Nice. Boom. Un Dead. Unstealable. Woo! Oh my god, Vulcan died Vulcan without died. sending him to ult. Are you, are you serious? Wait, Hold on, this fight's not going well. Perks, no, maybe? Perks killed someone on the end. Does he have R2? Oh, oh my god. Wait, Penna? Oh, no, he got jacked. He got a jack. Oh my god. That's cringe. That was nasty. What the fuck? Get Penta. Damn, that R2 did some fucking damage. Get yeah, that Penta, fucking please. shreked him. Penta, please. Penta, please. Yo, wait. Fudge has a new item. Anathema's chains. 
Why does he have that item? Is that how that's pronounced? Anathema? Is it anathema? I thought, I it, was thought it was more like anathema, is how I read it, but I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. No idea. No idea, but I'm gonna Google it right now. Is it a real word, or is it like someone's name? It's a real word. Smile. It's like the something or someone that one vehemently dislikes. It's totally real. And it was great to see you and the rest of the team feeling good about the performance there, because obviously we're tracking how is Cloud9 doing since Ven has come back to the squad. Within last week to now, are there any notable improvements on the team in terms of synergy and getting back on the same page? I mean, yeah, we are definitely improving uh, in screams as well. Playing with Jasper again, it's been great. Uh, we are improving on stage as well. As you can see, I'm finally able to wear a cap. Uh, I've been having hard times and adjusting full. to stage this split because the lights are really bright and my eyes are very sensitive because I had eye surgery and Riot didn't Wait, want to actually to wearing it down the lights for the last three weeks. So now I finally have a oh! note that I can wear a cap. So it's just honestly wonderful. I feel completely unleashed. I feel like I'm going to smurf every game now. I was feeling very like jeopardized the last couple of weeks, so I'm just really happy. Fucking stabbing right games. Oh, dude, Jesus. He just roasted right real quick. Yeah, he just ripped him a new one. Yeah, he just fucking him. About this week, it is rivalry week. Cloud9 are facing off against Team. That sounds pretty and grief, CSM no? Going tomorrow and the day yeah, after. that's fucking Any grief. thoughts about those two performances, yeah, especially with their histories against Cloud9? Pretty deserved. He couldn't uh, wear a hat. I need a doctor's note to wear I a hat. I that three weeks. That's fucking uh, disgusting. Team and TSM are the best, one of the best teams with 100 rights, so. I said, Saying, like games, they don't normally uh, let you wear hats. I was surprised. Uh, but I'm feeling very comfortable with. I don't know why. Like I think hats are fine. Yeah. Me. We've got one I mean, more let's go back to, go. to that. Like, to a break, but on in what side, world does letting CLG, somebody with really baby. sensitive eyes wear a hat on stage need to take three weeks and a doctor's note? Like, can can you just not like? It's about the spirit of the rule, you know. If everyone is going on stage wearing hats. And it's like somehow detracting from the broadcast because like i don't know the hats are fucking for some reason the viewers hate it i could like maybe understand but if it's just like one exception for a player with like an eye surgery why did that need to take three weeks that is whack yeah i i'm definitely on perk side on that one well not even just the hat too like the lowering of the lights <laughs> yeah and i'm sure he's not the only one who like fucking hates the lights being yeah that that is super annoying. If the lights are in your eyes, it's actually really hard to like keep your eyes focused on the screen. Yeah. Wacky, wacky. What if the like, Tigger was like, "What about that death bot lane to revenge?" No yeah, lights in your eyes for that one. There, bitch. Any comment? <laughs> Damn, we're on the last game of the day already. And it's the match of the week. Oh shit! Two Titans compete. Tank. For the tenth place slot. <laughs> hey man, FlyQuest is literally the same wins as CLG right now. A so new challenger approaches. FlyQuest is in the room. Can CLG keep their stranglehold on skipping playoffs? Every league needs like a FlyQuest, Golden Guardian, CLG. Because like without the without them, there would be no like middle of the pack. There would be no high tier. Yeah, they just man. all look the same, but now we know who's the bottom. It is defined yeah. who is trash. Dude, it's actually really well defined, that's true. Wait, Brock's just playing Trundle, I just realized that. Sleep. Yeah. Trundle's kinda kinda busted against Volibear later in the game. You just pill when he ults in, you pillar off his teammates, or you pillar him and your teammates just hits him for free and he has to ult away. You give him the good suck. Trundle feels so good against champs with no dash. Just the most obnoxious fucking dildo of all time. <laughs> oh, can't move, does. and your teammates can't help. Yeah, I, I love the ones where like, if you position it so you kind of bounce them back toward you. Yeah, that feels. And then good. they're just completely stuck. That counts as a stack for for phase rush and aftershock too. So weird, because it does one true damage. Mhm. Mm yeah, I I like playing Trundle. It's fun. Have it's just so seen... satisfying getting those fucking dildos when they're up against the wall. Oh, I was actually baby. Just stuck in them. Oh, just yeah, ride them on the wall. wall. It's yeah. like the most buggy shit ever, where sometimes they can actually just straight up not move. I was actually thinking about, remember when Trundle versus uh, Gragas was the meta, and like, you could 
Trundle Pillar, your teammate getting rag assaulted. Yeah, to stop yeah. Him from... That was so sick. Like, that was skill. I think Smoothie saved me one time like that. Yeah. You can do it to Blitzcrank, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can. Any sort of displacement. It's like the only way you can CC your teammates is Anivia Well and Trundle. Yeah. Pretty cool time. I don't time. think uh -oh. this is a dive angle. Wait, is it? Does he not have Shroud? Doesn't look like it. I think he just killed Pobelter at this Wait, point. Wait, did Iconic just stun the tower? Oh! No, 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 no. He stunned Finn. He stunned Finn. That was sick. Wow, that was nasty, dude. Look at Finn CS. A anytime it's a Renekton meta, it's a solo meta. He definitely I'm stunned so the tower. <laughs> he 100% stunned the tower. Iconic really? did? How did Finn Iconic, die then? Yeah. He, did he get stunned by Iconic? No, no, I'm, oh, I'm saying Iconic stunned the tower. Oh, I'm an idiot. I thought the whole time you were talking about Renekton. I was like, I swear I saw him slap chop his ass. They're, they're doing the replay right now. Just watch, watch Voli. Yeah. Oh, I see. Does it use yeah. it on the turret? Yep. There's some slow, -mo slow moing oh, it perfect. Oh, yeah, he just slaps it right there. Yeah. <laughs> Chime. Okay. We shillin'. Close. He's like pretty good against Kaisa. Actually, Kalisha Brahm's kind of a weird combo. Uh oh. It is. Bye bye. Oh Boom. no. Good he has night. No sums. He's just he might just keep chain dying at this point because LeBlanc still has flash. Dude, what is this top lane situation? Finn's getting gapped so hard. Broxa is not even allowed to play the game at all. Yeah. What's his I'm getting happening? Vibes. Do you guys remember when Finn... This is actually so funny. Early in the split, Finn played That's the Gwen GP me. matchup against J Jenkins, right? And he, like, lost both sides of that matchup. He lost it playing uh, against Licorice, and then he lost the other side playing against Jenkins. And then Finn played Renekton versus Akali against Jenkins. And then now he's playing the other side of that matchup because he's like, man, fuck. Like, I don't think, I don't think Renekton's that good against Akali. Guys, I got solo killed. <laughs> and... He's getting completely shit on. Yeah, I mean, it's why like, is he running Flash instead of Ignite is my question. If the smile. matchup's that bad. Smile. It's just, oh, it's I mean, just funny Jenkins to see. had Ignite when he got fucked, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he did. Jenkins <clears> had Ignite. <throat> but, like, also, Solo is playing a lot better, and he's setting up the dive for his team. Like, that level 3 dive is, like, ridiculous value. Yeah, I think Stack Finn a must... huge wave. Call out that he has no shroud for 20 seconds. Have your teammates come on that exact timing. Like, that's that's a solo, solo show, I guess. Or maybe he just yoloed it. Oh, iconic. Dead. Is he dead? Oh yeah, yes. he's gone. Or is he? He's gone. Or does someone die? Poo Belter has flash. Yep. Oh, that Wait. chain is gonna hit Broxide. What is? How is oh, that my play? God. And in the end, just, they, they get they get so much. They get two flashes and a kill. Dude, this is a full on two v three just destroyed. Is this game over? Finn is legit solo losing his team the game at this point, like very loudly. Yeah. yeah. Flux over mid lane by making him TP to his lane for the first dive. Fucks over jungler by making him have to babysit his lane and get nothing out of it. Yeah. Solo's patience on this play was really commendable. Like, he plays it just kind of always in range of making the play right. Like, a lot of top laners there, a lot of people, not just top laners, would like, they wouldn't hover to see if there is a play coming up because it's like, you don't know. You would just go back to your lane because you're not sure. But I, I, I like the, I like the, just like the kind of fly on the wall where you're just standing there menacingly, like in SpongeBob. Yeah, he, Finn is actually losing his team in the game. It's so cringe. It's it's so demoralizing when you lose both sides of the same matchup. You're getting yep. really skill checked. But I think at this point, Finn just has to be like in comms, just be like, alright guys, I'm gonna be a fucking minion this game, good luck. It's 4v5. Not like yeah, yo, everyone yeah. fuck yourself to come help me. I need help. Yeah, exactly. At some point you just have to be like, yeah, dude, like try to carry the other side. I'll like do what I can. I'll look for a TP play to get back into it later, like that kind of oh, shit. Oh yeah, no, a hundred percent. If you're if you're like demoralizing your team because like you're fucking getting trashed in lane, 
That's the worst. If it, if it was like at this point where it's unrecoverable, you, you have to kind of honestly see the humor in it. Whereas, yeah, you're a minion. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a minion, and then, you know, whatever your team likes to say, I'm farming for late, or like, I'll, you know, I'll do whatever. Uh, he's scaling, smile. Yeah. Oh, Finally, no, take not the, the blue. blue. Yes, the blue. Is that all they get? I, I, I think they should take more. Uh, except yeah. Silky's bot lane is coming. Hmm, okay. I Wait, saw Jenkins do this one. That was actually a losing trade for Finn, for fun. <laughs> he's, I think he's trying to bait, because is... CLG's on the way. I think like this is lane. not worth if Stixay just keeps pushing. Oh, and they're going to get spinning. it because of the threat of, of Wild Turtle being there. So, so Wild Turtle doesn't even have to commit. He just runs back to his lane. But Golden Guardians, because they don't know, they're going to give the Herald. Or, yeah, wait, this they? is a... Are they? No, they see, they see, they see Wild Turtle. He Ooh. showed too early. Uh-oh. Wild Turtle's showing on the wave too early, and now it's yes. Golden Guardians getting heralded. Oh no. Wait. Rip. Oh my god. That was almost a reset and a half. Is that Turtle's fault? That's a thanks for the leash. Yeah, I think so. It was definitely a greedy play by Turtle to go back bottom there and show. I think there you, you need to be willing to commit your body to the herald. So you go and then have somebody TP bots, or you just don't show because the second you do show bot the enemy team realizes oh it's just even numbers and we can we can stop the herald so yeah i think either commitment or just a just a little bit of patience on showing bot would have got them the herald all hypothetical of course you know maybe golden guardians fights anyways uh -huh. mr playing well Ooh, so we'll break the, the turret, turret changes right are the local gold I want to tier see two bot lane and tier two top a, a, lane an adaptation that they give a lot more gold a lot these days is when your top lane is they give winning, like 600 kind of gold total top lane or more. instead of like 250 oh, or something he should be okay I don't think he dies oh maybe he does oh, oh the double TP is coming in oh Renekton so is in the middle Renekton of four is... people oh Renekton my god healing triumph up the oh asshole my god. oh my god solo oh! are you kidding me solo's alive Holy shit! Alright, DD. How many triumphs saved that man? He got four in a row! Holy fucking shit. Dude, Dude, Solo got so much healing from triumph, that was like the most value rune I've ever seen. Pope with the flash what? in, trying to finish him too, just can't. Yeah, the tilt flash. Oh my god. Damn, alright, this one's fucking done. Well, Yeah, it's fucked. It's a top gap. When a top laner TPs in the middle of your whole team... <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, oh the blue trinket was wrong. The blue trinket was wrong. I'm muted. What? Hello? No, no. Yo. Good. Okay. Good. So this is the first triumph proc that saved him. Then he gets one more right here, and then Pobolter flashes, and he gets the empowered Q healing and another triumph proc. <sighs> Gives He's him a nice so little happy. smile. Hilarious. I am kind of surprised that people still make these mistakes. I, especially, like, uh, I'd say, like, what should he do differently for next time? When he's getting three man dove, all he has to do is flash LeBlanc's chain and he won't get revealed in his shroud. He should tell his team that he's fine and only to TP if he absolutely needs it. Obviously, it could be on Pobolter, right? Like, we don't know internally. Maybe Pobolter said, like, just panicked and he just pressed TP. Finn didn't, might not have said anything. But yeah, I think it's it good to, like, context. reassure your team as you're getting three-manned. You should be okay. Um, the only thing that can reveal him is a skill shot, so it should be fine. And then, yeah, other than that, like, just playing his wave properly so that his team doesn't have to constantly help him out. Because dying once... People recover from dying once. People people recover from getting dove early, especially because you die and you just TP back to your lane. Yeah, that's so. what I was gonna say. Like, if LeBlanc does TP first and they like commit to this three-man dive, like, you should shroud, make him waste as much time, get as much XP as you can, and then just yeah. fucking die and TP back, and you're fine. You yeah. your team might even be better because yeah, even did that. that's like the worst case, dying TPing back. You know, in the best case, he TPs, you just live. Fucking them so hard by li living a one v three. Six eight. Oh, nice dodge. Oh. 
Oh, big comeback. Holy shit, I think oh. Golden Guardians might win this fight. Wow, they're all dead. No, what no. The hell? I think they're losing. This is actually looking pretty good. Triple kill Volibear, let's go. Damn, literally no one on Golden Guardians died. It looks so close. Yeah, I thought, yeah, Kelly kind of had a lot of damage here. Yeah, it's absolutely Damn. hilarious. The, the one in five of Kali almost like one tap two people. Yep. Man. Pop off game for the Golden Guardians mid jungle duo. God! Yeah. Damn. That was big. That was big. A Blaze Olive is such a dad slammer, actually. Ooh, Broxa did not look happy. Yeah. I think what you have to do first thing you get back into the player room is someone has to say, so I, I guess we can't pick a call you for Nectin's up. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that would be like the ultimate thing to fucking you take kill a fucking, shit out of your whole team. It's taking a lighter to some wood. Trying to burn that's the it fucking, up. Th that's a Dardock kind of quote. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just a really immature player kind of quote. I think uh, that's what coaches are for, right? To give the un, to give the objective, unemotional, like you played like shit guidance. this game. Yeah, you're like you're your girlfriend. Garbage. Like you're duo killing with your girlfriend. Wait, what? You played so bad this game. Jesus Christ! You played like shit this game. <laughs> Is that what you say to Lin, dude? <laughs> yes, that's what Suniki says to Lin. Yep. As wait, we duo what? all the time, yeah, yeah, for sure. Dude, dude, wait, wait, Sinky, is it true that your girlfriend was like a, a diamond or platinum or uh, maybe it was diamond, like Nami or Soraka player? I forgot which. Lin? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. When she was playing a while ago. Perfect. That's crazy. Did you ever duo? Farm content? Uh, ranked? No. Oh. I've already, I've already been through that one. That's uh, that's a no go. <laughs> oh shit, dude! I do not That's recommend. Not good for the do not do it with your girlfriend. No, no, no. I agree. I agree. It's Lina, cursed. That, don't do it with your girlfriend. It's, it's fucking actually cursed. League is the worst couples game ever. Yep, it's so bad. League is, League is too first. <laughs> Wait, so what happens? Explain it to me. Explain it to me. Who gets toxic first? Uh, I don't know. I mean, okay, so it's depends on the personality, maybe. Okay, so it's <laughs> yeah, it's it's me. Smile. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> Wait, do you think that Fake God answered all of his interview questions so bad early because he never wants to get interviewed again? That's actually kind of next level. No, dude, the, the just first... be so bad they'll never pick. Pretty you. sure they've interviewed dude, the, him before. The first question was so bad, like that one was unreasonable to answer. Like he he gave the shortest thing because of the question. What was the question? It was like something about the fucking situation with all the roster changes. Like, mm. I, I don't think he's very comfortable with what's going on. And it showed with his answer. Are you happy gotta, about your see. roster imploding and your teammate getting fired from the team? It's basically yeah, what it yeah, was. Yeah, you know, I, I think this is really a good look for the org. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, it's like this is what I signed up for. What the fuck is he going to say besides nothing? What do you think about your coaching staff fucking up your roster the whole goddamn time? Yeah, you know, actually, I didn't even expect Darth to make it through one split. So the fact that he got, you know, a few weeks into summer, that, that was just fucking extra credit. <laughs> yeah, today was fun. I enjoyed. Thanks, guys. I hated every moment. Thanks, okay, guys. cool. Okay. <clears throat> Good night. Uh, later. See ya. Later, later.